My name is Leandro Romiglio. I'm from Argentina. I'm 31 years old and I'm currently world number 61. Tell me a little bit of um, the influence of having players like Diego and Miguel and how that influenced you from being a junior to become a professional player. Um, well, for me, it was a great inspiration and motivation seeing these, these guys as Miguel and Diego and Cesar, Cesar Salazar when they were playing on Squash TV. Um, I always wanted to, you know, to appear myself in, the, in, the, in, those, in those stages and those tournaments. So it, it was always nice when I was playing South American National Junior tournaments that Miguel was playing also in the like under 19 or under 17 and I was under 15 or 13. So I always look up uh, at him. So it was really nice and interesting to, to watch him play and um, the, all the things uh, he, he, he won and same as Diego and, and Cesar. So it was always a good motivation for us and for all the people in South America really. Uh, when one of the South American guys is playing, all the, the people is watching. So it, it was always really nice. Now it, that is my, sometimes I appear in, the, in these tournaments, it's good because uh, people from Argentina has someone to, to cheer on, so it's nice on that part too. When you were becoming a professional player, did you ever message them or how did you go from being a junior to reach out to professional players to, to start playing? Uh, yes, I'm always keeping contact with Miguel, with Diego, because we always, always, um, we see each other in the Pan Am games or South American games, so we keep in contact. We are we have good relationship outside of the court too, so um, I'm also going sometimes to train with Diego now, so it's uh, always good to play with these guys because they are in a very good level and that helped me to improve my, my game a bit. So always grateful for them to, to hit with me and train with me and always, they are very open to share and, and, and train with, with other players. So it's, that's really nice for, for, for another players to, when they want to go up in the rankings or improve the game, they are also open to, to help. So where do you train now? Where do you live now? I'm based in Prague. It's been a year and a few months now. I, I made the decision to, after the COVID situations, to go there. Because always in Argentina I was traveling, but always coming back. And it's tough. Uh, it's a long trip and it's expensive. So now that I'm based in Prague, it's easier because everything is closer to me. Um, I think it was the right decision and I'm really enjoying it there. It's a good group. Uh, a lot of players from all around training there and playing the tour. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Okay. Do you think the future for squash in Latin America is looking good? Yeah, for sure. There are, there are a lot of new junior players coming and playing strong, training more. Uh, I think uh, now the players are taking the training more professionally than before, maybe. Uh, so that's good for sport. Um, I know in Argentina, in my place, we have a lot of kids that they train really hard every day. It's a good group of uh, young kids. And they are doing well in the South American and in Pan American games. Um, and I, I know the same uh, happens in Colombia, in Ecuador. The, the, the level of the squash has grown a lot and that's really good for the squash in South America and in Latin America in general.